down. Something for your mind, your body, and your soul. 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 Yes, crew. A very warm welcome along. As you know by now, this, the Glitterbox Radio Show. My name is Melvo Baptiste. This is the very first show of March 2024. All systems go right now in the defected office here in East London. This week we announce our lineup for High Ibiza this summer. But most importantly for you today, I promised a wonderful guest on today's radio show, a legend of our scene, and yes, joining us for the very first time on the Glitterbox radio show, Miss Candy Staten. Picking out some of her most influential records over the years and also talking about her forthcoming single on Glitterbox. Lots more to come, but right now we take you back to 1996. Karen Pollard, Reach Out To Me and the Smack Vocal Mix. Welcome along.
Hanging round at the number one spot on Track Source. Saison, Mike Dunn, track entitled Non Stop. We like that. Before this one, brand new music, The Shapeshifters. This one forthcoming on his imprint, Please Just Punch. And as I said, kicked off today, Karen Pollard and Reach Out To Me. Um, but yeah, I said at the start of today's radio show, lots going on in the office at the moment. Ready to announce our season at High Ibiza. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for that. And coming up very shortly, we're joined by the one and only Miss Candy Statton. Before we do that, Dave Lee just continues his quite simply relentless work in the studio. Gianni Vinny dancing and grooving and this, the Dave Lee edit.
Right now you're tuned in to the Glitterbox radio show. You're with me, Melvo Baptiste. The one in the background, Sarone, loving C minor, Dimitri from Paris, remix on that one. And if you missed the recent announcement, myself, Dimitri from Paris, Alini and Sophie Lloyd will be part of the crew debuting Glitterbox at Coco in London on the 6th of April. That one is fast selling out. So if you want to come to that one, make sure you jump on it quickly. Anyways, I've spoken so much about it. Candy Staten um, is joining us on the radio show today. I actually went to see Candy perform at Glastonbury last year, sounding truly amazing and an artist who has just spanned decades in the music industry. So picking four records and starting with this one, Candy Staten and Hallelujah Anyway. Hi, Melvo. This is Candy Staten. We're just going to talk about Hallelujah Anyway. It was a great gospel song. We uh, recorded it gospel in 2001. It got big here on the gospel stations, and uh, somehow it uh, Defective Records got a hold of it and began to remix it, and it's just been remixed more times than I can count. It's, it's an amazing song, yeah. It went gold in the Netherlands, and uh, I just got a big gold record from it, and I'm so proud of it. I love singing it because it's such an uplifting song, and people get really blessed when I sing it. So that's Hallelujah Anyway. I don't care what you're going through, just say Hallelujah Anyway. <laughs> you have some problems, you need God to solve them. You get down on your knees and pray. Anyway, you 
sound. Uh, that was with Groove Amato. They sent me a track, and I had already written the lyrics for another song that I was working on. But I couldn't seem to get the, get it right. I just couldn't get the melody I wanted for that song. It just wasn't fitting. And I'm in a hotel room in London one night, just by myself, and I started listening to their track. And I said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. And so I went and found Love Sweet Sound. It wasn't called Love Sweet Sound. I don't know what I called it. <laughs> it just got the lyrics um, fit the track. And I did it on the phone. I, I did the track and I started singing it on the phone. And it was so great. I said, oh, this is it. That's it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send it to them and see how they like it. And they loved it. And that's how that came about with Tom and Andy. Would love sweet sound.
was sent to Defected Records with three other songs. I recorded that song. It was on a slow, more, more of a slow beat, and it was a really soulful kind of feeling that I had because at the time, that was in the 90s, and things were just messed up. I don't know who the president was. I don't know none of that stuff. I just know we were having a kind of rough time. We're back to that same moment, it seems like now, and it seems like this is a perfect time to release it. It was timing. It wasn't time then for me to release that song, but now is the perfect time because the song tells it all. The power of one, and we could all get together and unify. I felt it when I sung it, and I feel it now. So that song just hits it. I I love it, I love it, always have. talk about Young Hearts. Young Hearts Run Free. That was done in 1976. 
um, with David Crawford, who was the producer and the writer of the song. That was our first record with Warner Brothers together. So we did the record, and um, we were trying to put the songs together. And we were I would eat lunch, and I was with this guy who was very abusive. And my God, I was so scared. I was so afraid of what he might do to me and my children. He was threatening my life, my mother's life. And, and I was just so scared, and I couldn't talk to nobody. And David, I would talk to David about it over lunch. And I noticed he never looked at me, he would just write. And he was just writing it, writing those songs down. And so I left uh, California and got back on the road. And when it was time for me to come out to do the album, I walked in the studio and the music was playing. And I said, what in the world is that? And he said, you're gonna love it. And he uh, sung it down for me show me how it was supposed to be sung and then he left and went back up into the control room and I was in there and I looked at it and I sung it from the what he had written down and I felt it because I knew it was all about me I was singing my song my life story in three minutes what I was going through in three minutes and I put myself all the way in that song, we did one take of it, and that's David said, you can come in now because we got what we want. I said, no, no, no. I said, that was just a run through. I said, I was just trying to get used to it. He said, no, no, you can do it again if you want to, but I got what I want. So I did it again, and he got what he wanted, and he used the first take. And it's, he said, it's going to last forever. He'd been on a 40-day fast. That's why he said that. He, he had fasted for 40 days for this album. And he said this song would last forever because every generation goes through the same thing. And he knew it would last forever. So um, that's why it's lasted so long. And I think it'll last forever. What's the sense in sharing this one and only life? Ending up just another lost and lonely wife. You count up the years and they will be filled with tears. only breaks up to start over again you get the babies but you won't have your man while he's busy loving every woman that he can uh-huh. say i'm gonna leave a hundred times a day it's easier said than done when you just can't break away
wonderful moments on the Glitterbox Radio Show. Thank you so much, Candy Staten, for joining us today and giving us some more information, some more tales behind some incredible music. Today you heard Hallelujah You're Anyway. You heard Groove Armada, Love Sweet Sound. Yeah. You heard Candy and Kelly G, forthcoming music on Glitterbox, Power of One. And of course, we had to play it. Candy Staten and Young Heart Run Free. Um, right, some news to come shortly about a stream taking place over the weekend that you need to know about. But right now, let's get into this one. Benny Musa and Save My Life. All the lights off in the club right now. To the dance floor.
In on Glitter Box, Mid makes his debut on the label. Shakedown Bootsy Collins, funky and you know it, and this the Mid remix that's gonna be sounding wonderful this summer. Before this one, Mickey Moore, Andy T, featuring Kathy Brown, and I've got love for you. Um, right, I mentioned a minute ago, in celebration of us announcing our lineup for High Ibiza this coming summer, we got a rather special stream taking place for you this weekend. So from 6 p.m. this coming Saturday, you can listen back to some of the sets that were recorded live at High last summer. Kicking off with me at six o'clock, followed by Natasha Diggs, The Shapeshifters, Groove Armada, and Carl Craig as well. It will stream live on Defective Broadcasting House this coming Saturday. Check that out via our YouTube channel, and then the sets will be uploaded to High's YouTube channel after that. So check out the audio from 6 p.m. And for the crew who want to watch, keep an eye on High's YouTube channel early next week. Right, two more to play you, Kathy Sledge, and take me back to love.
Once again, Miss Kathy Sledge, take me back to love, right here on the Glitterbox Radio Show. And that one almost taking us to the end of today's session. As I always say, of course, we've got time for one more. And one thing I love about this game, we are constantly discovering great records that I never heard before. And this is one of them, Shaman Hunter and Dance to Freedom. Enjoy, and I'll see you next week.